<laughs> oh my God. The Decepticons, they getting worse. What are we going to do about them, man? Listen, listen. Chosen one, listen. Listen, I, listen, I can't make this up. You already know what I'm about to tell you right now. I can't make it up. Listen, listen. If you ain't got nobody that's copying you and imitating your whole swag, imitating your whole style, if they ain't dressing like you, you ain't doing enough, okay? You, you, just, you just don't love yourself enough. You're not feeling yourself enough, all right? You need to bump it up a little bit. Because if you or if you if you watching this video and you know you're a chosen one and you don't see how people don't jack your whole swag, people don't try to take your your a uh, specific person from you. People don't try to win your friends that you brought them around first. And they just trying to be like you, but they right in your face and they acting like they really not. And they acting like they you. Where the hell do they do that at? Listen folks, the more you begin to love yourself, right, on your journey, the more you begin to come your greatest version, the more you just you just really feel yourself. You start loving all your flaws, all your attributes, whether you're thin, small, skinny, or fat. Okay, you love the fact that you're a little bit thick. You love it, don't you? You know, you know you plus you might be plus size, but you will put on some tight shit in the heartbeat and still rock it, right? And they be mad at you, don't they? Listen, the more you begin to love every every God-given feature about yourself and you and you become, you know, in love with your true divine self, okay? The way you giggle, the way you walk, the way you talk, you know, the way you move, anything. It's going to be people that notice that you're confident in yourself that have no identity. Huh? Yeah. They box, okay? They waiting to be programmed by somebody like yourself. You a chosen one. You connected to the div divine. You still know who you are. These box and Decepticons, they don't know who they are. The only thing they trying to do is find something that they can attach to and they're going to attach themselves to you. I'm telling you, the more you begin to love yourself, the more you begin to self-develop and you work on yourself, you're going to have so many people that you're going to come in contact with who have no identity, don't have nothing going on with their life, no direction, no purpose, no nothing. And they're going to finally get around somebody who know how to do something with themselves, like yourself. And they're going to try to copy everything that you do right in front of your face. And they're going to act like they made it up. Where they do that at? I'm telling you. If you ain't had this, if you ain't had this happen to you already, like I said, you ain't doing enough. You need to, you need to get into yourself, your spirit a little bit more, okay? Because once you really in tune with that God spirit that's inside of you, man, that shit is contagious, all right? That's what most of the whole world lack: spirit, substance. They like food that's bland. They ain't got no salt or pepper on them. Oh, it's a lot of people out here acting like something that they not. You know what I mean? You listen. You can come up with your own word if you were chosen one. You come up with your own word. You can just you can just be talking and you be like, hey, hey, you know, every time you talk, you be talking regular like a regular person or something like that. And you just automatically be in your you be feeling it. You be like, hey, hey, hey. you be like, yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's 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 hot right there. Hey, 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 hey. That's hot. Hey, 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 hey. Your friend that's around you that's hearing you. Gonna be looking at you like, what does that mean? Ooh, she's doing it confidently. I like it. I'm gonna steal it. I'm gonna take it. I need something to say too like that. And I guarantee you, just just let just let it soak in. Just keep on saying your own word. Like, I gotta, I gotta, just just keep saying your own word around your friend. I guarantee you, your friend gonna slip up one day when y'all be riding in the car and you hear her talking on the phone to one of her friend girls that that you don't even know nothing about, and then she gonna be talking to her friend girl like, yeah, girl, we went down there. You you gonna be in the passenger seat looking like, what the? That's my shit. Hey, she gonna just be, you gonna just notice that's gonna be, it's gonna be in her songs and everything. She gonna be, eh, yeah, yeah, eh, yeah, 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 like, eh, like you trying to be like me, huh? I'm for real, y'all. I'm dead serious, man. These Decepticons is trying to be you. They are trying so hard to create an identity for themselves. 
You know what I mean? They might see that you get a lot of likes. They might see that you got a lot of followers. You got a lot of friends. They might see that you can you can associate with people way better than them. They gonna start to steal the way you dress. They gonna steal your outfit style. They gonna figure out what your favorite colors is. They gonna steal your they gonna steal your hairstyle. They gonna start looking like you, acting like you, taking pictures like you, and everything. You know what I'm saying? You take that picture like that. They gonna take another picture like that. They, they tried. They ain't got no identity. They lost, folks. I'm telling you. This how you know you doing something good with yourself. This how you know you make you making an impact. This how you know you influencing people around you. It's when you notice they start to do the same exact things that you do. Okay? They will steal your whole career path. Okay? They'll steal your career path. If you will say, uh, if you are author or something, you write books or, you know what I'm saying, you want to be a top seller on writing books or something, your friend that don't do, that's doing something, like working or something like that, all of a sudden, she going to come to you one day and tell you she writing books too and she needs some advice on her book and she wants you to listen to what her book is about. Like, what well, damn? I thought you didn't, you didn't, I thought you never was even interested in my books. Now, all of a sudden, you writing a book and you want me to give you some advice on your book and you and your title is just like my titles. This is what these Decepticons do, folks. They they monkey see, monkey do. They follow people. You know what I mean? But see, here's the funny thing about it is that makes it scary. It makes it a little bit scary. See, they don't never tell you that they doing this. See, see, I think they kind of they oblivious to the fact that you don't know that they think that you don't know that they doing it. Because they they have engulfed your whole personality. You know what I mean? They have engulf, engulfed your charisma. Okay? Your charisma is so strong that it's rubbing off on people. And see, they subconsciously begin to act like you. But they don't even know that they're acting like you in your presence. Because they still Decepticons. They still slow. They sleep. That's what I'm saying. When you on your journey and you doing good and, and, and everything is starting to work out for you, you know, your finances start getting right, you know, you start to be more joyful every day. You're not angry no more like you used to. You're going to have so many people that start to attract themselves to you and they're going to come to you because you feel good about yourself. And the only reason why they want to get next to you is because they want to learn you. They want to know where you live at. They want to know who you sleeping with. They want to know where you hang out at. They gonna know, they want to know where you shop at. And all they want to do is figure out all this information about you. And once they figure out all this stuff on how you do, what kind of, what kind of toothpaste you use, do you use a regular toothbrush, do you use an electric toothbrush, do you use a flat iron curling iron, or do you still use the blow dryer? Once they find out and collect all the evidence, they're going to take all of that shit and they're going to run back to their crib. They're going to close their door and lock it and they're going to start experimenting with all the shit you use. They're going to start experimenting with everything you use on their skin. Ooh, they're going to be like, damn, I am you. I am you. I am you. They're going to be experimenting. They're going to be putting on the same type of clothes you wear and shit, putting on the same clothes you wear, trying to experiment. Ooh, yeah, this is me. This is me. This me right here. I knew I was chosen. Yeah. Yeah, I am chosen. I am chosen. I am chosen. What they like what they do that at? And then they go and then they gonna come back outside, they gonna come back around you, and they gonna try to act all they gonna act all like it ain't nothing going on, like like you can't see what they got on that you had on the same outfit last week. And they done went out and bought a similar outfit to the same type of outfit that you bought. And they act like you don't notice it. Where they do that at? See, these Decepticons, they be in low-key competition with you. Low-key. Low-key. They try to stay below the threshold of, of understanding. But they, they so slow, they don't realize that you understand it. They, they copy you. They try to be below the threshold. Like, we hear you. We know you loud. We know y'all over there having a party. I heard the music. Uh-uh. But Yeah, I did hear the music. Uh-uh. I heard the I heard the bass coming through the wall. No, that wasn't the bass. You trying to have a party because you know I had a party last weekend. Uh oh, they Decepticons, y'all. I can't make this up. Somebody called me yesterday and was like, "Big bro, Trent, man, this girl, man, you don't understand, man, Trent. 
I told, I told this girl, well, I don't trip. She was like, Trent, I don't even know how she know. She stayed across the street from me, big bro. And I'm like, wow, she stayed in the same neighborhood. She was like, yeah. And she was like, and you know what? I work out, Trent. I, I do yoga, big bro. I do yoga. And, you know, I try to, you know, I try to mind my own business. And I try to just, just do yoga because it, it, it brings me a sense of peace. You know, some serenity. Don't you know this chick? Uh, pulled up to my house one day when I was outside and she yelled out the window that she going to go do yoga training. Huh? I say, what? She say, yeah, what they do that at? I say, like, she trying to copy you. And see, here's the thing about that girl. That girl stay across the street from her or whatever. You know she be looking out her blinds seeing when she go out to yoga and see, because she can tell because they got the yoga pants. The leggings, you know what I mean? And the, and the sports bra and everything. Pe the Decepticons ain't stupid now, y'all. They, they, they slow, but they ain't stupid, okay? They can figure out where you're going. They know where you're going. They, they, know what you, they know it based on where you got on. They know where you work. They know what time you get home. They know where you're going. They, they make it, oh, there ain't no workout outfit. She going to do yoga. I see that mat she got on her head. She going to do yoga. Then they going to start trying to look up, hmm, what's, it, what's some places out here I can go do yoga so I can be just like them? They be trying to copy you, bro. When people see you doing good with your life, they see you finally becoming successful. You know, you have found something that's making a way for you. Since they've been stuck the whole time and ain't never known nothing about nothing, nothing. They gonna say, oh my God, this is gonna be my way out too. Let me do the same thing that he's doing. Let me, do look, look y'all, look, I can do it too. Look, 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 y'all, look, 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 Bruh, be yourself, bro. Why people, why, I, don't under, I don't understand why people want to be somebody else and God gave them their own identity. I don't understand that. You know how Nicki, you know how Nicki Minaj be always doing that little sound that, not every guy, not all the girls think they purry kiss. Y'all trying to be like Nicki Minaj. I know who Nicki Minaj is. It ain't you. You not Nicki Minaj. That ain't, you ain't come up with that. It ain't no patent on that. Oh, where they do that at? Decepticon shit. Listen, if this ain't happen to you, when it start happening, it's gonna be kind of scary. It's gonna make you want to fight somebody. It's gonna make you very, very upset. It's gonna make you very frustrated because you know who you truly are. You know what I'm saying? You know you came up with all this all this uniqueness and this style about yourself. You came up with this shit first. And then you start to see other people still in your damn hairstyle. You, you start to see people, other people still in everything that you do to try to make it theirs so that they can get some recognition in this spot. And it, the funny thing about it, they be acting like it's really they, they act like you don't know and it's really theirs. And then you see them on their social media, they, they so proud that they say, they be like, They so happy, they so happy that people are recognizing them now because they being you. I can't make this up, man. I cannot make this up. It don't matter what you do. You can go get a new car. If you, you can get a new car, right? Just because you just want this type of car. You know, you want this make, you want this model, you want that year. You can have somebody that's like your friend or somebody that worked with you at your job. Since they see you got a new car, they gon' they gon' next thing you know, they gon' come back to the job with the same damn car or yeah, this better. And they ain't gonna say nothing about it. They're gonna hope everybody praise them and everybody like them because they got another car that's a better model than yours. They are Decepticon. I told you, people be low-key competing with you, low-key competing with you. It don't matter what you do, chosen one, people are gonna start copying it. And you're gonna start noticing them. By the fruit that they bear, because the same fruit that they bear is the same fruit that's on your tree. You be like, damn, you eat like me too. You eat beets, you eat beets and put salt on them. I seen you took a picture with them beets in the bowl and put some salt on them. I do that too. Ooh, and look, got a nerd, got a nerd to eat sliced cucumbers with some vinegar. You know I do that. Now all of a sudden you eat cucumbers with vinegar. 
You know you ain't never been that country before. You a city girl. Uh, where they do that at? Where they do that at? I'm just letting you know, man. That's how these Decepticons, these Decepticons, monkey see, monkey do, because they don't have no real true identity. They want to be me. They want to be you. You know what I mean? Because they ain't got nothing else left to do. You know, you following in your true divine self, the way you wear your, the way you wear your makeup, the way you arch your eyebrows, you know what I'm saying? Fellas, you know what I mean? The way you wear your, the way you wear your shirts and the fitted stuff that you wear, you know, the way you like to go outside, you might have some slippers on when you go outside, you know what I'm saying? Tank top, you love to rock a tank top or, or you love to rock wave caps. Next thing you know, your homeboy, he going to be wanting to wear a wave cap. He gonna come up with all different kind of wave caps too. He gonna steal your style too. But they ain't gonna never give you credit and say, damn, bro, that's hot. Bro, you fly today, man. What's up with them shoes? Bro, you got some nice shoes on. No, he gonna see you with some Jordans on, the ones, and then he gonna come back with some a different color ones, and then he gonna be thinking he fly too. He know he too old to be fly. You getting old, boy. Take care of them kids. Stop trying to be like me. Yeah, he see you in some new Jordans. He gonna go buy some new Jordan. Next thing you know, he, since you have your Jordans on, he gonna come. To, he gonna start wearing Jordan sweatsuits, bro. Jordan logos everywhere. Jordan logo act like he cool, like you like. <laughs> boy, you know you old boy. You don't supposed to be wearing Michael Jordans. No, no. Listen, the more. You start to get in tune with your true divine self and not care what other people think. And you start to be open to being yourself and just loving yourself and all your flaws and all your attributes and all the good things about you. You're going to notice since people can notice that you are happy with that and you're not afraid to be who you are. They are going to try to copy who you are to make themselves feel good. And they're going to try to steal your identity and try to attract the same people that you be around in hopes that it will bring them some type of happiness, some type of closure, some type of money, some type of popularity, fame, anything. They're going to steal your whole style. And, and, th and then once they start getting a little bit of recognition from your friends, they're going to feel like they're like they're in the clique, like they're part of your whole tribe. Where they do that at? Where they do that at? Copycat, copycat, copycats. Yeah, this is what they do. Little grasshoppers, little grasshoppers trying to copy the big grasshoppers. You know what I mean? Oh, they don't know how to go out there and do things on their own. And this, and see, here's the thing, folks. Here's the thing. When usually when people do that to you, like I said, give yourself a pat on the back. You know, it ain't really nothing to get upset about. Like my girl, she she called me and booked a session with me. She was hot. She was hot. She said, "Trend, I'm this close to strangling." I am this close to strangling her. I say, calm down, calm down. Don't let her get you. Don't let her get you go to jail or nothing like that. That's what she want to do. She trying to disturb you. She trying to show you that she can she can dress the same way you do, but she trying to do it better than you because she think that she since she younger than you, she got a little bit more flex. Listen, I know she trying to take. They trying to take the people that you in love with. They gonna try to do that too. Chosen ones, they gonna try to do that too. They see you got a good relationship going, or they see you got a fly chick. You know your chick fly, bro. He gonna start acting totally different when he you around your chick. You invite your friend to your crib, bro. He gonna start acting totally different. He gonna start wearing his best dress, his best dress down if he know your girl around. He gonna start talking more. Gonna start talking to her and stuff like that. Gonna start flirting low key, like you don't even see what's going on. They just have the con so slow, they so sleep. They don't even know that you know that they flirting with the people that you bit you with. And that's what they try to do. They whole thing is to be you. They trying to copy you, imitate you, take your identity. They trying to be a correlation of you. But see, they still just don't they, don't, they still don't know how to be original with it. They don't know how to do it like you. Nobody working the way I do. Ain't nobody come to see you. Oh, this, they came to see me, David Rutman. Huh? I just want you to be my, listen, I can't make this, I just want you to be mindful of what's going to happen the more you get in tune with your true self, okay? You're going to notice 
You're going to notice a lot of little grasshoppers. You're going to notice a lot of fake people that don't have no identity of their own. They're going to be inspired by you. They're going to be influenced by you, motivated by you. They're never going to give you the credit. They're never going to let you know that, hey, look, you, you, you my protege. You know what I mean? I like you. I just want to let you know, listen, girl, look, look, look. I'm going to go get this outfit right here, and I just want to let you know. It's just like yours. Yeah. I mean, I know, I mean, I know you got the uh, Louis Vuitton and stuff like that, but I'm going to go to the wholesale store. They got, they, got, they got one just like it. But I just want to let you know, I, I like your style, and, and I seen the way you were profiling that day, and all the guys were trying to holler at you. Shit, I want that same feeling. You don't mind, do you? They ain't going to be like, yeah, 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 okay. You say wholesale, okay, wholesale. Get me, get me, get me a boat, too. I need a boat. Don't come in the boat. She's gonna be like, yeah. We're getting in one too. We bring a whole lot, get a whole box up in here. I, man, that make you feel good. Somebody give you the credit what the credit is due. Don't it? Yeah. The Decepticons ain't gonna do that. They're gonna steal it and they're gonna try to work it the way you do, but they can't work it like you. Cause you David Rubman. It's your big bro trend, man. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hey, give this video a thumbs up if it resonated with you or you got people that's copying your whole style now since they see you doing good. Give it a thumbs up. Comment below and say, big bro, they copying my whole style. Let me know what they copying. Let me, let me give a little description down below in the comment section. Who did what? Tell big bro, man, how they copy? I know they gotta be copying you because they know you the chosen one. Make sure you subscribe to my channel by clicking that icon right there. Make sure you get one of the courses down below, folks. 90% off all my courses. Limited time offer. Coupons on every last course. Just go get it. I'm giving it away for nearly nothing. Okay? With that being said, man, I'll see y'all in the next video. Don't let these copycats frustrate y'all. Keep being you. Peace.